The Battle of Britain, squadron leader Geoffrey Wellham was at a screening today of a new film inspired by his memoir, First Light. Watching it with him for the first time was the actor who plays the part of the teenage hero 70 years ago. John Ryle reports. At the age of 89, squadron leader Jeff Wellham meets the actor who plays him aged 18 when he became the youngest fighter pilot in the Battle of Britain. They were brought together at the headquarters of BAFTA today for a screening of a new BBC TV movie inspired by Jeffrey's wartime memoir, First Light. Thrall. Said it to about there to start. Straight from school, Geoffrey joined the renowned 9 2 Squadron to fly Spitfires, a sharp learning curve. Fuel on. Primer pump. Throttle. Set. Clear prop! Magnetos on. Engine start. On. After that first solo training flight at Biggin Hill in Kent, he was hooked. The youngest of the few flew back-to-back -back missions through the Battle of Britain and was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his combat record. Three enemy aircraft destroyed, four probables and several damaged. So 70 years on from his real-life starring role in Britain's finest hour, how does he rate this docudrama? It is, he says, the finest hour and a half he's seen. I think it's probably the most authentic rendering of what happened in the Battle of Britain ever been produced. Uh, that includes the Battle of Britain film with all the big chaps in it. It is nice to be remembered because being remembered covers everybody. Not just those of us who flew and fought and survived, but those who flew and fought and paid the extreme sacrifice so that you are free to sit here and question me today. Today was the first viewing of First Light by the actor who plays the squadron leader. He's very alert and very, very warm, very open about his whole experience. I mean, he says it still lives with him. Uh, and you can see that he talked to me about Spitfires and he's, he's passionate about it. Jeff did not expect his memoir to become a book, let alone a movie, he told today's RAF guests. So what next? Perhaps a BAFTA to go with his DFC. John Ryle, Forces News, London.